All right, how's it going guys? Skylice here to bring you guys another video on War Commander Rogue Assault. And in today's video, I aim to address the Paladin's new uh, primary and secondary weapon range mismatch issue that came from the uh, recent balance, balance changes that actually messed with the range a little bit. Um, so as you can see here, uh, these are the patch notes uh, for... Um, for the Paladin. Um, these are the improvements that they decided to make uh, to the Paladin based on community uh, community feedback about the Paladin being too weak um, here and there. And uh, they increased the base stats, the DPS and health. And uh, but the the most interesting part and the part that's actually causing some problem is this part right here. So, uh, level level 10 range increased from 4, 420 to 440. So, basically, when you promote your Paladin from level 9 to 10, that's the unit promotion levels, uh, you're going to get 20 range. So, the level 1 to 9 Paladin has a main weapon range of 420, and the level 10 has a main weapon range of 440. And this is actually something that's not in, expressed in the UI. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what that is. And the second part, uh, the second line right here is what's uh, very interesting and just even more uh, unordinary than the first line. And it's something that I think a lot of people didn't understand uh, until they had to find out the hard way. Um, level 15 hypervelocity projectile range increased from 420 to 440. So if you guys don't know what that is, uh, that's basically... That's basically this equipment slot right here. And uh, what this equipment slot does is that, I mean, it's disguised as alternate ammo, but uh, it's actually a secondary weapon. And uh, it fires um, it fires an extra shell um, in addition to the main weapon's shell every few seconds. And uh, it's, ve it's actually very visible um, on screen uh, when it's working because... Uh, the paladin fires the paladin's main weapon fires barrages of like gray dull gray shells and this one fires a single very bright orange shell with like flames around it every couple seconds so when it's working it's very easy to see and uh, this thing uh once maxed um, on a max paladin it accounts for about 30% of its total damage output. So uh, basically, it's because uh, it, uh, it almost works exactly like the main weapon, uh, the main weapon's mortar. It's got the same range. It doesn't fire on the move. It's restricted to fire in the same direction as the main weapon, maybe even the same target as the main weapon. Um, yeah, so it's basically a DPS supplement uh, to the main weapon. It'll almost be like a crew upgrade, except it creates an, another uh, projectile. And, you know, it's different mechanics, but uh, it's basically the same thing as a flat damage buff to the main. So, um, yeah, that, that is um, what the hypervelocity projectile is. It's a secondary shell. And uh, what this line means is that... Uh, well, just like the Paladin's range is only going to go from 420 to 440 when you promote it to level 10, this thing's range is only going to go to 420 to 440 when you promote it to level 15. And uh, before that, it's going to uh, stay at 4, 420. And if you promote your Paladin to level 10, uh, before, you pro uh, before you upgrade the secondary shell to level 15, um... The shell is actually going to have less range than the main weapon, and uh, when you use your paladin, uh, and you, you select your paladins in battle, and you tap on a target, it's going to move uh, until it's exactly 440 units away from it, where the main weapon can reach it, because the main weapon is what the unit's movement behavior is based around, and it's going to stop there and start shooting, and the secondary shell won't be able to reach the target, so it won't fire. Um, and that's what it means, and this is a problem because most people are going to be promoting their Paladins to level 10 long, long, long before they promote 
the secondary shell to level 15 because it's just much more expensive to promote it to level 15, um, to upgrade the secondary shell to level 15 uh, since it takes like, I don't know, 15,000, 20,000, even maybe even more weapon tech to get it up there and uh, tech takes time to acquire whereas, and it's also altogether, 20k tech is probably even more expensive to acquire than than all the criticals. So yeah, most people are going to have the Paladin at level 10 uh, before they get the secondary shell to level 15. And I know a lot of people are already in that situation right now. And uh, they found them, they've found uh, that the orange projectile that was coming out of their Paladins earlier no longer comes out and that shell isn't firing. And man, I don't know why they decided to do this. Um, honestly, they could have increased uh, the secondary shells range to 440 for all levels, and that would solve the problem, um, but have like almost no other effects. It's not like that you'd actually be able to snipe things from 440 units away if your, your paladins don't stop and they keep moving forward until the main weapon can reach the target. Um, yeah, uh, this, this issue has no workaround with micromanagement um i thought i was going to be able to do that i thought if i you know if i anchored all my paladins on a target and then i micromanaged to move them slightly closer because if i if i just needed that extra 30 percent damage and i don't care about the range for killing that specific target i could do it um, it's very very hard to do based on the way that these vehicles move yeah, and so what what should you do about it? Well, um, wh what this means um, uh, to me is that uh, they're basically separating the Paladin into two upgrade paths. Um, you can make two choices once your Paladin gets to level 9 and your Hyper uh, Velocity Projectile, the secondary shell, has not reached level 15. You can choose to promote it to level 10. So in, in that case, uh, for most of the targets you encounter, you're going to lose whatever amount of DPS that your secondary shell offers. <clears throat> so it's about 900 at level 1, and it's, I think, just under 3,000 um, at, level, at level 14. So depending on where it is, you have to weigh how much that is worth, and then you have to weigh... You have to compare compare that to the 500 DPS gained by the level 9 to 10 promotion, and I think there's a little bit of health too. Um, I can remove this and uh, the extra 420 range. Uh, if you think the level 10 promotion uh, is worth it, um, you should promote it to level 10 and then not not uh, work on the secondary shell until you have collected, uh, until you either have nothing else to upgrade or that you, you have collected enough tech to quickly get it to level 15. Because before that, even when you upgrade it, it's not gonna make a difference 99% of the time. You can pretty much regard that as not making a difference at all. Mm. The second path is that you could leave your paladins at level 9. Uh, this is especially for the guys who already have their hypervelocity projectile halfway maxed. Um, you could leave your paladins at level 9 so that both the main and secondary weapons fire. Uh, and uh, you know you get to keep that bit of extra DPS, and you're only you're only going to promote it to level ten uh, when the when the secondary shell is close to being to level fifteen. I'd actually recommend you getting it to level fifteen before you do the promotion. So the last uh, the last upgrades are very very expensive. They're like two thousand, no no fifteen hundred two thousand tech each. Uh, all the upgrades for level level ten from level ten to fifteen. Uh, that's where the costs are and yeah so that's basically um, what you should do unfortunately though and I, I feel really sorry for these guys because uh, these are the guys who are doing exactly what Kai wants these are the guys who uh, basically coined out everything immediately and uh, for the Paladin when it came out and they basically they're basically getting punished for it because they probably already promoted their paladin to level 10, but they've also probably collected all the weapon tech they can 
uh, to spend on that uh, on that secondary shelf because it's the most important equipment slot and they're promoting that thing but now all of a sudden it's not it's not even going to make a difference anymore until they promote it to level 16 uh, level 15 I'm sorry which is going to take at least a couple of weeks because uh, that's just how much equipment tech the um, spec ops and smash and grab combined can offer something like what 2000 tech uh, a week and you know that's a lot for any unit that came before the terminator but for the terminator and after that's not a whole lot of tech and it's going to take like probably a month before they can see that orange shell uh, coming out of the paladin and doing damage again so yeah that's what it is um uh, I, I've talked to KaiXi about this already. If you guys think I haven't, oh boy, you are so wrong because I absolutely uh, complain the absolute heck out of it. And uh, they, they, Chris says they want to close the conversation, but uh, they still admit that there's an issue, so I don't know uh, exactly what this means. Um, again, uh, if KaiXi is watching this, anyone from KaiXi, all you have to do is increase the secondary shells range to two to to 440 for all levels and that would solve the problem while bringing almost no negative uh, consequences that I can think of um, yeah people are going to promote this thing people are going to upgrade this weapon to this shell uh, to a level 15 regardless because it's a big portion of its DPS and yeah, I just, I don't understand, you know, the logic behind, behind doing this. So yeah, um, that's, that's everything that could be done. That's the Paladin right there. And um, yeah, I hope, I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, yeah, another thing um, with the Paladin is that uh, if, or uh, more Fortnite stuff coming in. The level 10 slot, um, you know, that might be something that people think about uh, when they when I say uh, don't upgrade it to level 10. But this slot is actually not that useful. And uh, I know you might have gotten some of the blueprints for free. But uh, if you're going to choose the upgrade path where you leave it at level 9 until the secondary shell is maxed, honestly, uh, you know, this should not affect uh, your choices because this slot right here... Uh, the MK1 increases health, but uh, the armor also increases health, and I think it increases it a lot more, and for much lower prices, at, at least at the lower levels of equipment, um, of uh, tech promotions. And so, if you want extra health on your Paladin, you could upgrade that. Um, and the MK2 gives um, extra acceleration for the unit movement, and that is, I you know, I, I, I really want to have that, but uh, compared to losing the secondary shell, that's not very important, to be honest. And uh, the MK3 gives resistance to explosive damage. I doubt that's going to be too necessary, given how the Paladin is used, so... If you're going to leave it at level 9 and promote the shell first, so that's choosing the second upgrade path, then uh, don't, worry about, don't worry about that slot. Because even if you got the blueprints for free because your, your alliance completed the objectives, it's not actually worth that much. It is worth maxing out though um, once, once you do get it to 10, but it's not a priority. And yeah... It, that's I, I wonder why they didn't just move just move this shell to the tenth slot and then move everything else up because uh, that you know that would not only solve the range problem but it would achieve their goal to promoting uh, forcing everyone to promote uh, the paladin to level ten and to max out everything. So yeah, pretty pretty weird how they decided to structure this unit. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, the thing with the Paladin right here. So uh, I hope this video actually ends up helping someone out. And I feel obligated to make this video because earlier, um, when the Paladin just came out, I actually wrote, uh, before the day before it came out, I actually wrote an upgrade guide. No, the day when it came out, um, I actually wrote an upgrade guide and I emphasized how important it was to upgrade the secondary shell 
but now they've added this weird thing where uh, it doesn't even like it doesn't even work if your paladin's level ten and uh, this thing's not level fifteen. So obviously, uh, you wanna th there's got to be a change of priorities.